But how we use this in recruitment? Well, that's great because we've, we've, we can see we've, we've got the history, we've got the digital resume, and I actually pull this data. And then how often do we pull it, pull it? Well, it's interesting to say because LinkedIn has integrated with a number of different uh, ATSs. I think uh, if I remember right, I think it's job science or one of the other tools where when you apply for a job, all you do is attach your LinkedIn profile. And when it goes post back into the ATS, automatically it updates the profile. It updates every six months because you've allowed that connection via the API. And the same thing's happening with the applications and Facebook Connect, is you're allowing the recruiter or the ATS to say, okay, six months time, we haven't heard from the candidate, let's just do a quick mash together and see what we're up to right now without you even knowing. Again, we need to make sure that users understand what we're doing with the data. But how often you pull it is the question. Now, um, producers here in the audience say, and I actually tested out a job journey that day. And when I talk about integration, they've integrated. One click, do it. And what's happened here is, for me as a referrer, I referred it to myself. And I said, look, Thomas Shaw was to say it was someone else. Um, I posted it to a friend and saying, okay, look, I'm not sure if you, you're interested in this role, but if you are, just view the job. You know, we're getting our network to work for us. We're telling people, okay, you have friends, are they looking for a job? We can help them. Facebook Connect is, is quite big, uh, and it's quite good. I love it. I love Facebook Connect. I love all sites that connect with it. Because one, you're not having to re-input your username and password and email address. Oh, I, have, I struggle to find, I struggle to remember my username and password on most sites. Because again, my username might be taken and I have to have some sort of you know, Thomas Shaw, you know, 1124 or something else. Or I'd rather just do it <coughs> with one click and port my data across to say, okay, easy, don't have to sign up, don't have to take the time to read stuff, but automatically connect. Now, Tribe HQ is a New Zealand um, <coughs> social networking site, and I believe they, when they implemented uh, Facebook Connect, you can see on the right hand bar you've got Connect with Facebook, just press one button and it pops up. That's 66% increase in users. Now, if you think of that uh, for new sites, a lot of new sites have uh, a huge, huge percentage increase in users because, again, they don't want to have to sign up again. They don't want to have to take the time to say, okay, fill out this huge form. For what? If they can just press a button and connect straight away, it's great. So I'd love to see career sites say, okay, we'll, we'll add Facebook Connect or some sort of integration because it removes it incre sorry, it increases the distribution network. Again, you're opening up the platform to say, okay, so you're having fun on Tribe HQ right now? Well, why don't you invite your friends? So therefore, you're increasing the network, you're growing it. It removes the security concerns in terms of authorization. And it's great to share content and it uses the Facebook platform. So you can use it for other things like directly contact them. Um, I'm not going to go back into Facebook Connect too much, but again, certainly look it up. Uh, it's widely done, it's been around for a, a while now, um, but it's great to integrate with it. <coughs> Facebook applications, huge. Uh, but again, to have Facebook applications successful, they need to be viral. People want to add them. They want to have them on their profile. Do they want job ads on their profile? Sometimes they do. I like job ads on my profile. You know, people, I want my network to find jobs. I want my network to make money. I want to make sure that my network is connected as much as I am. <coughs> so here's an example of a, a client I did for a, a while ago. And it's just plain and simple. You think of your career site, you think of how you try to evolve your career site and add these little functions and features. Again, we could put it, you could put your own career site in a, a Facebook app or a Twitter app or, or LinkedIn. But again, we're only going to go there for a couple of data. One, jobs, people on jobs, that's the main reason mm -hmm. going in there. Two, they want to invite their friends or do something with it. Quick, they want to find out about you and they want to contact you. So we go back to the things Brett was talking about earlier. Is this the best example of using Facebook? You know what? It is. Again, we're here that it's shared. I saw an Add to Any, um, Add to Any is a, is a widget which allows you to share content quite easily. And they had 24% <coughs> of people using the function shared at Facebook. That's quite huge. If you compare it to LinkedIn, it was 0.4%, um, and email was about 11%. Now, find applications can be quite tricky because we've got thousands of applications. I think we're up to, uh, I can't even see this, it's on there right now. I think it's about 
30,000 plus, even that. So how hard would it be to find your recruitment application within 30,000? Do you stand out from the crowd? You, you need to make sure that whatever you're going to do is going to be unique. You need to be innovative in what we do that. So how do we actually do that? Think outside the box. Okay, we can use these sites, but how can we use it differently? So once I want you to leave here thinking, okay, I don't might not know much about Facebook, but how can we use it differently to what other people are using it for? So go back in here and afterwards and, and go to the directory and have a look at what they're doing. Games, applications, um, help people out for work, you know, refer friends, um, even productivity tools, business tools, um, and all that. Now, when we talk about social sites like Twitter and Facebook, um, especially from a, a recruitment background, I like to speed up productivity. I don't want to spend all day, or my clients, I don't want them to spend all day going through every single site. I want to make it easy, and I want them to have fun and to target information. So sites like Spokio, Wink, and Spock, and there's Hipple, and there's Refer Yes, and there's, there's heaps of other ones across the US, make it very easy to search all sites at once. So if you're using a unique ID like their username, uh, sorry, their email address, you can quickly find out what sites your candidates are on, what sites your employees are on. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, I actually say it's great. I think it's great, especially if I'm trying to, if I've got a headhunting contract as an executive search, and they go, oh, Thomas, we've been trying to get hold of these people for ages. I don't know where they are, can you help us out? I go, well, have you tried Google? Because we always Google people. You know, we just try Googling, and we're taking it to the next step. We're trying to use these sites, these sites connected to, um, as we call them, people search engines. And we're, <coughs> by entering one email address, automatically can find out what sites are on and connect with them that way. Now, it's great when um, this is actually integrated into your ATS to make life a lot simpler, and certainly ATS is starting to do this. <coughs> so, finally, where are you headed? You really need to be a leader in this space and say, okay, let's try something different. Don't be a follower. You know, posting jobs to Twitter is great, but try something different. You know, don't just have a stream of jobs coming through. You need to engage with the users, and that's how you're going to build up your followers, is engaging. You need to be personal and engage with these people and say, okay, what are you looking for? Let's make a connection. You know, hi, my name is Thomas, I work for such and such. What do you do? Let's start off the conversation early before we actually try pushing stuff onto them. Understand it. Try to get as much information, uh, the research, before actually jumping in and, and diving into these sites. You know, think about, okay, we'll just trial it for a bit and, and don't spend so much money going there. Okay, we'll spend, you know, five grand integrating or whatever it is if it's not going to work for you. Different things will work for different people and it all depends on what your user uptake is going to be like. Create integration, definitely. Now, identify your target market. If you are a, a looking executive search firm, you, know, you probably wouldn't be searching on Twitter for, or, 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 sorry, you wouldn't be searching on Twitter, you wouldn't be searching on Facebook necessarily. So look at your demographics. Are the demographics I'm recruiting for on there? Could they be there? Or what other areas? Engage, again. Reputation's quite big, so again, we could use these sites to, to go back in the process and see what they're saying about our organisation, um, but that's a totally different the subject. Um, 360, make it easy. Make sure that everything's integrated in, into your platform, or to make sure everything's integrated into your website at once. So users don't have to click out in another tab to open you know, their whole Twitter, or it's going to a different um, competitor. Make sure you're managing that. And again, I always say, work harder, not smarter. Now, what I hear on the right is, is one of my clients, and they want to post, they want users to post stuff to other sites. And I say, well, that's great. So if you're going to start integrating any social tool onto your career site or recruitment agency site, make sure you're adding social functions, buttons, and allowing users to do what they want with this data. It might sound, do what you want, okay, I can do whatever. But again, they're going to share it to the network. They might say something good. They might say something bad. But again, it's getting your information out there to the wide world. 